Hey everybody, Jessica here, and I'm going to show you how easy and fun it is to use the watercolor fantasies. So to get started, um, this is just a quick demo to show you how easy it is, but I've already loaded up my patterns, my styles, and my actions. Now you don't actually have to load up the patterns and the actions, but they make your workflow easier. So um, to load up the styles, <clears throat> you go here to the your styles panel and just click load styles. So I have my web styles loaded because I'm working in our web, web resolution. So just to start off with, uh, I'll select a text layer and then I can just go through here and click on all my different styles and change it just like that. It's really quite easy and you have all these fun watercolor kind of crazy inspired styles. And of course you can change your color at any time uh, being that it's a text layer. So that's one way to do it. Also, you can click on your style here, but the reason why I had you load the patterns was is you can double click on your pattern overlay. And if you like, you can flip through your patterns here. And I like to do that sometimes when I'm trying to decide which one to use because that way I can just use my keyboard up down my up and down arrow keys. So I kind of like that, which is why I gave you the option and gave you the actual source pattern file rather than just keeping that for myself. And another cool thing that you can do is I give you the actions here which let you scale up and down your pattern. So I loaded up this pattern here, it's number 48, and I'm just going to take my uh, scale actions and I can press play and it'll scale it down by 50%. So I have like another variation and then I can scale it down by another 50% and it looks quite different. At, this one actually looks kind of spotted. So this just gives you more choices. I can also scale it up, scale it up again, and I'm back at the original. So I just like to make things faster for you rather than you having to click in this pattern overlay and then sit here and type in 50 or 25. And uh, generally it's better to use 50 and 25 rather than for most patterns because sometimes if you put it at like an odd number like 61 for example, if you look here it's a little bit um, blurry. Although to be honest with my watercolor styles this actually isn't really a bad thing um, but on other styles where it's required that they're um, sharp that actually will look bad. <coughs> so that's just how easy it is and I'm going to show you another example here. I've got a little flower, it's a vector smart object and I'll just go through here and apply some styles and it's really quite neat um, and actually looks you know fun whatever but say I want to uh, change that color. So what I can do, there's no real way that I can make an action to change the color, but what you can do is you can just um, double click in the pattern overlay and uh, or double click on the layer style here, click color overlay, add a color overlay, and then change it to whatever you want. Just change the blend mode to color. So that is um, how easy it is to change the color. So I'll go here with the leaves, I'll add a watercolor style. And one last thing that I'll show you is um, it's really fun to use these with brushes. So I have a layer here that's plain layer and I'm going to grab a brush but what I'm going to do is I actually really enjoy using these Kyle's watercolor brushes. So I'm going to grab one of my favorite ones of that and I'm going to go like this and these are really great watercolor brushes. I love them and they're one of my favorite purchases on Creative Market. So I'm such a fan of his work. So I'll sit here and you know you can draw like this and it makes some really cool watercolor effects. But here I can go to my styles and then click these styles and it makes um, some really amazing effects. So just shows you how much fun that is. Um, so that is the basics of working with the watercolor fantasy styles and if you have any questions send me a direct message.